Hey y'all, thank you for coming back to my channel. So today I'm just going to do a full glam for you using the One Size Ultra Matte Primer. I don't know if it's called the Ultra Matte Primer. I'll put the name of it below. But basically, One Size came out with this matte primer that's supposed to be so good right here. Um, so I'm going to use it on my skin. I know that normally I do have a very oily um, skin tone or I guess complexion. Normally use a muesli, it keeps my skin from being extra oily as usual, but it still does get oily. Plus, I like a very, very flat matte look. Um, so I was like, yeah, let me just try this. So this primer is like $34, maybe like $36 after tax. So I'm hoping that it's going to be worth it. You know, I love my Marron Skin Prep Pro. So I'm just going to hope that this at least adds up or does something a lot better than that one. Because Marron is like $14 and this is like $34, so... And y'all, this video is actually from July. Right now, it's October 21st. So this video is just a couple of months ago. Um, this is my skin after being on a race for some time. I feel like a race really does help with melasma, but it doesn't necessarily help with dark spots. Um, you can't really tell in the video um, that I do still have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I think it's because I'm inside of the I'm in front of the ring light. You can't really tell, so my skin doesn't look so bad. But um. Yeah, I just had, I switched over my prescription recently because I felt like the erase really wasn't doing much for me. And I'm not just going to do like a sped up video. I'm just going to do a real time application. Of course, I did edit some of the videos so that way it's not a full 30 minute makeup review. It's just 60 minutes. So I did cut out some things, but I decided that I was just going to go in real time. And I'm not going to go and do a whole voiceover on this. I do my makeup the same way as always. And of course, I'll list my products in the bottom of my description because I use the same stuff all the time. So it's really just like a repetitive thing. I just wanted to try it out with a primer. With this primer, I'm going to say apply an even thin layer. So um, of course, I just put little dots on there. Um, this primer is really watery, so you have to shake it up before you. So if you're seeing this and you have it, make sure you always shake it up before you use it because it's going to come out really really thin but when you actually shake it up it actually comes out like a little glue like it comes out a glue consistency but it's not sticky it just dries up white So I have a lot of red areas that show up under my foundation, which makes my foundation not look full coverage. So my thought process was that I was going to get a darker concealer and just touch up on my lighter areas just to make everything blend to some extent. But I use this NYX concealer. I don't know the shade of it, but it's like a dark chocolate, obviously. And it dried up so fast that the thought process made sense, but the product just didn't work for what I was trying to achieve here. So I ended up just like leaving it and moving around with my life.
And y'all, I know it looks like I'm beating myself in the face, but I am. This primer does dry up so fast and it makes your face not move. So it's like the product just sits on it. So I was trying to like beat myself and mush the stuff in. That way it doesn't look patchy and splotchy. Like I really had to damn near beat myself up to push this foundation around. And for my texture girlies, this primer is really good for texture. Like, it makes it look so minimal.
Okay, so it is like 5.30 right now. When I did my makeup, it was one. I think it was like two o'clock. So it's been three hours. I went to the pool and I was outside in direct sunlight. This is how I was looking. I did have some of my makeup run off because I was like brushed up against like the towel. And I was laughing with my friends. So some of my makeup did come off. So it's not like it doesn't keep the makeup on, but it does keep it matte. I'm a little bit shiny around my nose, my T-zone, but honestly, it's not really noticeable. It's nothing too bad. So I'm honestly gonna give it. I'm gonna rate it with um with my Maron because I really love my Maron, but my Maron has been super, 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 super mattifying. That way, um, it just makes my makeup just so, 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 so matte. So I would say this is probably like my top two primers. And I honestly may put this before uh, Marin. Then again, it's so hard to say. I would say this is like running up with a Marin Skin Pet Pro. Like it's pretty good. Like mine is like the extra, like the extra little shine. It actually like, it's still, it's, it's pretty matte, a little shiny. So I feel like if you want something where your face stays matte, but you get like a little bit of oil, but it kind of like zores back in. Get this. If you want the straight flat matte the entire time, get the mirror on. So, but um, I'm gonna keep this on for a little bit longer. Um, I'm probably gonna go by the beauty spot store or something like that, or I don't know. I'll just keep it on until at least like eight o'clock tonight. If that way, it'll be what's that like seven hours since I had most hours set it on. So I'll try to keep it on as long as possible and just try to do like a throughout the day type thing but for this to be direct sunlight and it's like 98 degrees outside and I was in the pool I think it's actually like it's good I think it's good so it's like 12 o'clock 1 o'clock in the morning so we're about 12 hours in and this is how it's looking I also did take a nap so so far I like it let me know what y'all think